गुड आफ्टरनून फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू कंसेप्ट ऑफ जियोलॉजी ऑनलाइन क्लासेस वी विल डिस्कस सेवरल टॉपिक्स ऑफ जियोलॉजी थ्रू आउट द एंटीयर सेशन इन दिस ऑनलाइन प्लेटफॉर्म आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड इन द फर्स्ट क्लास दैट जियोलॉजी इज द सब्जेक्ट वेयर वी स्टडी और एक्सप्लोर द अर्थ फ्रॉम डिफरेंट एस्पेक्ट्स जियोलॉजी फाइन वी रीड रॉक्स मिनरल्स वाटर ऑयल गैस फॉसिल्स वॉल्कैनो ओशन एंड इवन भेक्टर मैट्रिक्स कैलकुलस केमिकल रिएक्शन इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक वेब्स रेडियो एक्टिविटी कंप्यूटर प्रोग्रामिंग फोटोग्राफी सेटेलाइट एटसेट्रा एटसेट्रा एंड सो मेनी इन दिस कंटेस्ट आई रिमेम्बर इन माई स्टूडेंट डेज वन डे इन द वे टू माई कॉलेज एंड बस वन पर्सन आस्ट मी यू रीड जियोलॉजी आई सेड यस ही आस्ट Geology is the subject of science or arts. Fine. I know for a student of geology this is a very very common question. I told geology is not a subject. Rather we read or we learn to apply some selected portions of physics, chemistry, mathematics, history geography botany computer science civil engineering uh, geology i mean whatever we need to interpret the earth now you think it is a science or arts i don't know what he thought but he enjoyed the reply really this is the cause you found most of the geologic principles are discovered by experts of other subjects not by geologists so it is no doubt geology is a huge subject a huge topic anyway to begin i have chosen a branch that is economic geology economic geology clear now here you may ask me why economic geology first why not other branches i have mentioned suppose 13 to 14 branches of geology in the last class actually in geology mineralogy or petrology is taught first but i am anticipating that you have the basic perceptions of the subject economic geology is chosen first because this will be interesting to all i mean from a beginner to a professional those who have heard a little about geology they think geologists are persons uh, who uh, suppose search for economic commodities inside the earth so i think economic geology will be uh, interesting for all from a beginner to a professional but the problem again is economic geology is a huge topic by its own i think it will be good to cover the subject in some parts in the first part part 1 part 1 will be the uh, principles of the subject principles of economic geology fine here we will be familiar with the terminologies and the uh, principles of the subject in the next part that will be part 2 part 2 here we will learn the genesis of ores genesis of ores now understand this genesis is a generalized genesis that means here we will learn the theory of genesis we will not enter into any particular deposits rather we will learn the generalized genesis the theory of genesis in part 2 fine next the part 3 part 3 part 3 will be uh, some more focused topics of different types of deposits this will be different types of deposits fine here 
we will uh, discuss we will learn some specialized types of deposits suppose you have uh, heard the name of banded iron formations or suppose podiform chromite deposits or porphyry copper deposits or suppose uh, manganese nodule okay this kind of deposits will be uh, discussed in detail in part 3 we will learn we will see their appearance their origin etc in part 3 fine now take a deep breath and be prepared because this will need a minimum of 35 to 40 classes in total be prepared for this we have a long way to go we will complete the subject we will need a minimum of 35 to 40 classes in total so firstly we are going to start part 1 fine what we will learn what we are going to discuss in part 1 I have made a syllabus for that uh, please have a look on it please go through it okay so economic geology part 1 I have divided the part 1 in uh, one two three four modules okay the first module is the introduction fine here we will learn what is the difference between economic geology and ore geology we often uh, use these terms economic geology and ore geology just like synonyms but they are not synonyms we should not use them just interchangeably okay we will learn what is the difference between economic geology and ore geology in the first bullet of introduction that is module 1 next is the definition of industrial minerals and ore and gang okay uh, we know what is an ore an ore is a mineral from which we are uh, extracting metals in some profit making way okay what is industrial minerals what is gang what is byproduct all these definitions will be learned in uh, second bullet what is the third bullet third bullet is the factors which make an ore resource potential for mining here we will see all the economic deposits all the economic concentration inside the earth are not potential for mining there are some factors which make an ore resource potential for mining okay so this will be the uh, end of introduction module 1 what will be in module 2 module 2 is the morphology of ore deposits now you know what is the meaning of morphology morphology means the appearance how the ore body is looking in the field fine the ore body may be suppose discordant or may be suppose concordant i know you have heard these terms uh, concordant and discordant in igneous petrology what is the meaning of concordant concordant means the ore body is just cross cutting the fabric of the host rock what is the meaning of fabric fabrics are the uh, planar structure or linear structures present in a rock it may be suppose a cleavage it may be suppose a bedding plane it may be foliation plane it may be a lineation whatever okay what is concordant concordant means the ore body is just containing the ore body is just parallel with the host rock i mean parallel with the fabric of the host rock okay again what are the fabrics the fabrics may be a planar structure or a linear structure fine now move to module 3 what is module 3 module 3 is texture and structure of ore bodies in meso and megascopic scale okay i know you have heard texture and structure but what is mesoscopic scale and megascopic scale that will be discussed in due course in due time okay these are nothing but observation sizes fine what is the meaning of texture texture is the uh, grain to grain relationship in a rock and what is structure structure is a larger view suppose in a field view or suppose in a outcrop view or suppose even in a uh, hand specimen view now what is primary texture primary texture means the texture which has formed with the formation of the mineral grain itself okay and what is secondary texture secondary texture is the modification modified version of a primary texture 
what type of modification what caused modification the modification is caused by suppose it may be due to replacement it may be due to a slow cooling uh, suppose what is called uh, what annealing or suppose a deformation which distort the primary texture and produce a secondary texture fine on the next module and the last module that is module 4 will be the application of microscopic study what type of microscopic studies we have learned in uh, the module 3 that is the texture and structure part that will be applied in module 4 okay here we will decipher what is the paragenetic uh, sequence of ores okay paragenetic sequence means uh, sequence of formation which mineral formed first which came last called uh, paragenetic study okay the next one is fluid inclusion geothermometry what is fluid inclusion fluid inclusions are small amount of liquid that was trapped in a mineral during its growth they may not remain in fluid phase uh, there may have a mixture of liquid and uh, suppose a uh, gaseous phase or suppose a liquid or a solid crystal so these are called fluid inclusions they help in uh, to decipher the pressure temperature condition of the environment in which the mineral has formed mind we have to know the pressure to decipher the temperature or we have to know the temperature to decipher the pressure this is called geothermometry because normally we uh, decipher the temperature and the pressure is known from any other independent information fine so these are four modules to cover the module one that is the introduction uh, suppose I need here uh, in total suppose three classes okay the module 2 morphology of the ore deposits will be covered in suppose total of two classes good the module 3 that is the texture and structure part that will be covered suppose it will need a minimum of two classes good and the last part that is the part 4 uh, application of the microscopic study that will need a minimum of three classes so in total we will need three plus two plus two plus three that means a summation of ten classes fine in and around within ten classes we will complete the first part please interact with me please be with me if you have any suggestions or advice whatever you may write on the comment box or through the email the id is mentioned on the description you know if you need the pdf notes of classes lecture notes whatever please write to me that also in the next video uh, we will start the first module that is the introduction please share and subscribe the channel to be with me thank you for watching